Hey everyone, I'm here today to show you our uh, different aquaponics systems and here I am in our media bed system at, uh, in my backyard actually, and give you a quick overview. So we started with our, our media bed for a number of reasons. We felt that uh, they pose some of the biggest benefits in aquaponics. They're, they mimic soil by using this grow, uh, soil as grow medium. We're using uh, expanded shale rocks. And uh, these, uh, the grow medium holds water, holds nutrients, and holds microbes the same way the soil does. So it also um, provides root structure for the plants. So what that means is that you can grow a wider variety of plants. Here we have a tea tree, like uh, straight green tea. This is basil, chives, tomato. Um, this uh, flower here is from a pea plant. It smells incredible. And uh, it just goes on. We have sage, mint, mustard seed down at the other end. It goes on and on and on. So that's one of the biggest benefits of media bed systems is the uh, absolute abundance of uh, plant types that you can grow. One of the other benefits is how easy it is to work with. You simply scoop across a little bit of uh, shale, you plant your plant, and then you scoop it back, and all of a sudden, it's planted. There's no weeding, there's no digging, there's no dirt under your fingernails, there's nothing. Just good old aquaponics. Hey guys, this is Spencer, and I'm here at my deep water culture system here at Rob's Farm in Glastonbury, Connecticut. And this, like I said, this is our deep water culture system. So I'm standing here next to our fish tank, clearly labeled in orange. And this is actually a thousand gallon oil drum that we've repurposed and aligned with food grade liner. We're blocking out some of the uh, light here to limit algae growth. So as I take you along our fish tank, here the water leaves down into this blue barrel which is serving as our media, um, as our media, our filter for the solids coming out of the fish tank. And when the system is fully on, it's off right now for the video, the water comes out and down into our raft beds. So here is our first raft bed out of our larger system, currently being put together for the spring. And right now, uh, we'll quick look at the plants. We have kale, basils, all sorts of little greens, here's some purple lettuces. So you may have noticed a pattern, there's lots of greens, lots of uh, herbs, uh, not very many fruiting plants like tomatoes. So that's one of the uh, benefits of the deep water culture system, is that you're going to be able to grow tons of leafy greens and herbs really easily and in a tight space. So that's why we uh, chose our deep water culture system for our largest aquaponics system yet. We felt it would really maximize the space that we were using. Hey guys, this is Spencer again. Sorry uh, in advance for the dark quality of this video, um, but here we go. This is our vertical system. So this is a system in progress. As you can see, there's no plants in here, but you can see the organ, and I mean that like um, like a pipe organ, like structure of the vertical towers. Each one is a uh, single length of PVC that we have heated, cut, and folded into the appropriate shape. So each of these cups hold, can hold a plant that grows out. The way uh, this will work is that over here in this uh, space here will go the fish tank. Water goes up and trickles along across. You can see the pipe there in the corner connecting across. Here's the end pipe. That water trickles down through the pipes, down along, all the way down. And plants grow. Down at the bottom, you have a pipe that leads back. Here, what will be the sump tank right there and uh, that's vertical aquaponics. You can see the absolute crazy amount of spaces here. I forget the exact number, but there's uh, six grow spaces per tower, and there's four, eight, 12, 24 towers. So that's 60, 84, uh, 82 uh, grow spaces 
in uh, what amounts to about a five, uh, 10 square feet. So that's pretty incredible grow, uh, grow density. And that's why we're so excited about vertical farming. Hey guys, Spencer again. And here I am at our latest uh, creation. This is our hybrid aquaponics system that we built for local farmer Brenda Sullivan of Thompson Street Farms, thompsonstreetfarms.com. And uh, let me take you through it. So this is uh, our familiar uh, IBC fish tank, about 225 gallons. There's some baby tilapia in there. And uh, the water exits right here. And you'll see that it trickles out into media beds here and here. Then, just like in our media bed system, we have these siphons that drain the media beds into the sump tank below. This sump tank then empties through this pipe underground into a raft bed. So just like you've seen our uh, previous media bed and raft bed system, this is our hybrid combination system that uses both deep water culture and media bed technology. So we really love this system. We're very proud of our creation for uh, Brenda here. We think that it's going to be uh, incredible in terms of the variety of produce she can grow in her media beds as well as the quantity of greens and herbs she'll be able to grow for her small local farm. And um, overall, we're very happy with the hybrid systems, and uh, this is just one variation of hybrid aquaponics. They can come under uh, just about anything you can imagine. Uh, there's still vertical integration and uh, nutrient film technique that we can start adding to these hybrid systems. So. Uh, Check uh, back in with us and let us know of your creations. And as always, grow to your fullest potential today.